Outstanding from both teams. And what an honour there for Zach Docker Clay to lead the hucker for New Zealand. He's been in Australia for a long time. Zach Docker Clay, here he is playing for New Zealand A. Oh, Kempi, that was pretty inspiring stuff, wasn't it? Well, if it's anything to go by, Glenn, the uh, the national anthems, especially, and the hucker of Bonga, and of course the Kiwi A team. Uh, we've got a hell of a game coming up uh, here at Eden Park. Just yeah, talking man. about uh, Dr. Clay, good Taranaki boy too. Absolutely. Senior Prince Laska Adamski is the referee, Vigo Rasmussen and Joseph Green. Two New Zealanders running the touchline today in this match. Yeah, this game is beautifully poised after what we've just witnessed. And let's hope they... Uh, well, uh, as we move through to a lot of these players of course won't be familiar to you here in New Zealand but they have played their trade in Australia for some years William Walbrecht though he's uh, certainly one of the more well-known players on the wing today for New Zealand A there's Danny Levy is uh, in the hooking position today there's another two that has represented New Zealand on four occasions 
So a former Samoan representative as well. And Kimby, what about you've done the hucker back in your playing days? I mean, you get fired up, the adrenaline pumps through you. And then what happens from there? Do you have to kind of just hit the reset button before kickoff? Well, back in the back in those days, I actually got a chance to leave the hucker on Carlo Park of all places, Glenn, and it does get you hyped up. It gets the adrenaline flowing, and uh, you just want kickoff to happen as soon as possible because you can run through a brick wall. And I'm pretty sure after witnessing those two huckers today, that's what these players want to do on show um, in front of their whānau, both sides actually, because there's a lot of support here for Ponga as we've seen over the years and uh, as you can see them just trying to calm down now before they get out there and get stuck into each other. So we will get you coach you through the through the game. It's to these players but uh, I think expecting Will Warbrick to make a big statement for New Zealand Sevens player for a wonderful season for the Storm. 25 games, 17 tries and what about Kalani going? He's had a fantastic year. He's led that Warriors New South Wales Cup team to within one game of a grand final. And rewarded with his NRL debut late in the season as well. Stay behind you, lads. So Tonga A kicking off here at Eden Park. The triple header is underway and it's a kick out on the full and that's not the start that Tonga A wanted. Perhaps there's a bit of breeze out there. But that wasn't requires New Zealand going to get a full set here inside Tonga A's half. Yeah, really important that they just settle the ship here, New Zealand A. Kick the ball out, let the forwards, especially in the middle, each one of them touch the football, and we'll have a look at Docker Clay's kicking game right from the get go. So, full set 30 metres out for New Zealand A. Wait for the tap. Go. LEC. How they go with Simonson taking the tap and straight into the action now is Widamu Greg. He's playing with the oh! Parramatta Eels this season. 15, release 16 now. games oh, too. He's a Just highly play. promising prop Come forward. Nice. Levy into dummy half. Docker Clay handles. And now here comes the other front row. That's Basami Salo Help! from the Canberra Raiders. Release now. Here we are. Hold, it's a good tackle by those Tongan A players. Play Holding the ball, slowing the play, the ball down. Docker Clay to the line. Another time into Tuo Picky. A little Stand off there. Of course, he's more accomplished than the number one jumper as we see Docker Clay. It's a good cutout pass to Bailey Simonson. The offload is good too. Docker Clay inside the 10. New Zealand A looking to score some points early in this match. Levy. Nice little short ball back to Greg, who's fired up. Levy's got options left or right of the ruck here. Docker Clay handling early, a lot early. In comes Kino. Big play out to Warbrick. And it looks like Warbrick's gone over to score the try. Beautiful shift out to the right. And New Zealand A on the board early. Yeah, paid for that penalty, didn't they? From the kickoff to Tonga. And we've seen Docker Clay step up and touch the ball basically in every play in that set. Decides to run it on the last. It goes out the back to Kinney. He throws a pass Barry into Warbrick. He's scored plenty of tries like that for Melbourne this year. The New Zealand A team be happy with that start. A beautiful injection into the line by Keanu Keeney and Warbrook. Still had a bit of work to do there to finish it off. The big winger. But over he goes to score the try. Breakout season for Will Warbrick. Yeah, and I don't think it's going to be too long before he actually gets a full international call-up, Tony. He's a wonderful player. Yeah, look, I thought he was unlucky not to get the call-up this year. He's had a fantastic season as William Warbrick for the Melbourne Storm, as has a number of players. I think Rocco Berry, too, for the Warriors this year has been outstanding. But nice little play there from Kenny up the back place of the Gold Coast Titans. They just seem to have a little bit too much star power in that back line. And Ponga, if they don't sort their, their defence out, it could be in for a long day. Yeah, there is some firepower for sure. Kenny a fullback, Warbrick. Ali Latawa is on the other wing today. No room for him in the centres with Bailey Simonson there. Isn't he a talent? Here's Tuo Fiki. Most of the season at fullback for that New South Wales Cup Warriors team. Few opportunities in first grade. Played five games through the season. And here he is with the goal kicking duties. He looked good in the warm up too, Tony. He was banging them over from the sideline. Probably just jinxed them. <laughs> let's hope. Let's hope not. It's from his best side. Tuo Fiki. Uh, never jinxed him. Look at that. Is it made? Has it got the legs? It has. Perfect. See, that's a perfect kick. 
if there's a crossbar there, you might as well use it, I reckon. Six points to nil, New Zealand off of the race is early. Yeah, look, they're, they're spying. You leave it, uh, in at hooker. Of course, you've got Otoopiki, who basically played fullback all year in that six jersey. Zane Docker, uh, Clay in the seven, and Kenny out the back. They just had very good shape on that. Nice width held by Berry out on that right edge. And Walbrook, if you get him some space, he'll show you how to put it down over the try line like they just did. Of course, that try Walbrook scored was memorable as they knocked out the Roosters. And here comes Widamu Greek. He's straight back into the action. He's made a solid start too. He's only 23 years of age. Born in Whangarei, former Cowboys junior. Here's Levi at Dummy, half again. Now taking a run is Ali Latawa. Move now. One NRL game for him for the Warriors this season. And he was out for two months with a hamstring injury. But he's back now. Here is Salo. 12 release on the mark Again, slow defence. Uh, well, it's been going four minutes, and Tonga A still haven't had a set. There's Jack Alworth, the young Melbourne Storm back rower. 20 years of age, handles for the first time. Now he's going. Looking to get some shape out of the left-hand side. Nice for Ryan in the passing there. Good little short ball. Brought Jacob Laban into the play nicely. There goes the kick from Docker Clay. And now Tonga A finally have their hands on the ball and it's Hoita setting it up here for Tonga A. Yeah, look, nice set there from New Zealand A coming out of their own half again. Docker Clay, a nice break here. Out from the number six, Zaya Ormi. Yeah, it was a very good run from him. And now here comes Tony Francis. Auckland-born player, nice offload from him. He's, he's at the Titans. And now here comes Paloa Matangi Kalepo. He's at the Knights now. Warriors fans will remember him being a former Warriors junior of some note. So here's a set restart for Tonga A. Making the tackle, Laban. He's a hard-working back rower. It's Sione Vaihu. He's wearing 15 plank lock. Comes forward for Tonga A. And here's Pule. He'll be a big player for Tonga A today. They'll need him to have an excellent match. Very fine prospect. Oh, there's a drop ball, unfortunately, by the Aupa. Yeah, just a little bit unorganised there, weren't they, coming out? There's a lot of good carries from individuals there, but once they set up with their structure, they have a shot down the right. The big number 10, Peter Hallock, can't hold the football and gives it back. Probably not happy with that. The coaches of Ponga, first time they get the football, and there's an error straight off the back of it. So more possession for New Zealand. Hey, don't forget this is the first game of a triple header with Kiwi Ferns playing Tonga at uh, 3.30 this afternoon before we get the big game at 6 o'clock. Now Simonson. He's another that must have gone pretty close to making that Kiwi squad. Just missing the cut is Jacob Laban. Just 19. Doesn't turn 20 till April next year, Jacob Laban. Again, a highly rated prospect coming out of the Warriors is to see Levy. That's a good, strong carry by the hooker. Right on the halfway line. Duo Picky. Here's going. Just a pause there by Duo Picky, but referee Kuzlaska Adamski says play on. Now Duo Picky with the kick on the Tongan A40. Oh, poor pass going back. That ended up being an excellent kick from Thuo Picky. It was beautifully weighted, Kempi. They just split the halves there. One side, Thuo Picky had down here on this left edge, and Docker Clay called for the ball out on the right. They decide to come down the left-hand side, and he sees that the fullback's out of position. And the winger just a little bit relaxed there on that pass back to the fullback, Hoita. And the Kiwi team would be really happy to get another repeat set off, off the back of that. Yeah, look, they haven't put a foot wrong so far, have they, in these first seven minutes? Ten seconds to kick it. Let's go before the clock. Even the army failure. Kick it, kick it before the clock. But well, he gets the restart. Touch he ended up being a pretty decent drop out as Rocco Berry trapped it. And now here comes Sowell. Good strong contact by the 25 year old. Here's 10 lads, hold. 22 hold. games for the Raiders this season. And now here comes Greg again. Love, he's been active early, and there's an offload. Second phase play here for Levy. Out it comes to Kalani going again. They're already on the 20 inside the 20, goes Kalani going. So New Zealand are looking solid to start this game. Nice inside ball back to Salo from Docker Clay. Stand now, Pasami on the mark. Levy once more. That's Docker Clay. 
Keeney just had to stop and catch the ball. Warbrick, awkward one for him. Doesn't mind the contact as well, Warbrick, does he? Still two tackles left in the set. Levy, away it goes from dummy half again. And it's a tackle, well, a set restart as we see Salo. Looking to split of that Tonga Nei defence again. Inside the 10 he goes. Well, they're sucking in the big ones here. Tonga Nei gone here on the left edge. Hold the goal line. Yeah, they've got options either way, haven't they? Beautifully lined up as Docker Clay standing close to the ruck. He's going to have a little dab himself. Greg now driving towards the posts. Short of the goal line, tackle two. Where are we? Don't play it on top. Tonga A's defence have got to hold out New Zealand A here. Levy to Docker Clay. I wonder if there, there might be an obstruction, but it's play on for the meantime as Simonson looks out for Laatawa here on this left wing side. Oh, and he's taken into contact. Laatawa can't stay in the field and play, and that's better for Ponga A. Yeah, they get out of jail there. Just a little bit of an inexperience there from Laatawa out here on this left wing. He gets caught with the ball. He's running too high for a winger. He should have just buried his head, got between the two Tongan players and tried to find the ground, but the strength of these Tongan outside backs just throw him, bundle him over the line there. I just thought the play earlier, Glenn, should have gone to that left edge. They had him shot. Docker Clay just needs to get a little bit more depth on the play. Good play too from Vailia there. He's got a point to prove as well. Viliami Vailia. Here he is here, number three. Off to the Cowboys. Next season. When you're ready, hold. Go. No tackles. But tough metres to be made here by Tonga. Hey, and that's been pitched right there by Jack Howarth. So Howarth is going to go over and score the try. The bunker's going to have a look at it. But Jack Howarth, he has stolen that one. It looks like he got a soul to fill for some four points here. But it all depends here. Kempi, where there was a little knock on here from a New Zealand player. And there hasn't been one. The ref, the try has been awarded. It's a loose carry, and he tries to pop it out the back. Just doesn't go right, doesn't get Balls the bounce, and gets knocked on here sure no by the number 19. Nate Thorpe, yeah. and it's just picked up point. there by Jack Howarth. Played Queensland 19s on that Queensland on pathway point. there for a little while. It was Jack Howarth, and uh, he finds started. probably the easiest try he'll ever get in a black jersey. Yeah, it's being reviewed. They'll confirm it. It's being reviewed. And New Zealand Correct. ground the ball. We have a decision. Being reviewed, Mark C6 in front of the stick. Oh, a little bit confusing with the try right. being awarded, and now it has been confirmed by the bunker. So Jack Howarth over to score the try. And there he is, a 20-year-old. Interesting character, you're right. He's a former he's Queensland under-19s player, Australian schoolboy. Yeah. But he's got a Māori mother, and her, his mum is related to Jared Wairia Hargreaves' mum. Yeah, he's got the pedigree, is not he? He's got the size, too. Have a look at him. He's got plenty of pulling out to do as they line up for the kick here in New Zealand A, but just on the offload there, goes out the back, it's great defence coming up in and around the football, you're sneaking that one to Jack Howell, it's what happens, they're just struggling a little bit, the Tongan side here, Glenn, just to get out of their own half, they've only had the ball two times and on both times they've come up with errors. So Tuo Picky with a much easier conversion attempt this time. Well, points to nil it is. But how it's try converted. Born of the Kai Queensland, but uh, his roots are in Rotorua. There he is, Howarth. Uh, one game for the Storm this year. That was against the Broncos. Right at the end of the season. Round 27. You remember that game? That was the, the week that the Broncos and the Storm rested all their players before they met again the following week in the playoffs. And they'll be happy too that they've got that young man in their books. With Craig Bellamy down there at the Storm. Jack Howarth looks like a decent player for the future. Ponga gets it started again here. Not kicking it as deep as they did the first off, but still kicking it out on the fault. Oh, gee, that's the second time. That's the basics of rugby league there, Kempi. They've got to get that sorted. He looked a little bit tentative, didn't he, when he went to hit that football as the referee gives him a penalty on halfway. These piggybacks, you know, New Zealand A haven't had to work out of their half at all yet. Jack Docker Clay just demanding the football every time they get into the good ball area of the field. And uh, yeah, again, that pressure, that pressure, that defensive pressure here, they come again. A little bit of breeze out there as we saw from that flag shot, but it's all good for New Zealand at the moment, who's uh, 
Here we Standards are. and oh. execution have been very good so far in the game. Now, Levy, Docker, Clay, here comes Salo again. Hasn't his work rate been excellent in these first 12 minutes? 12 off the ball. Needles holding. Plenty of carries from him. That's his eighth in the game already. And now Kalani going. Docker, Clay. Do I pick good hands out to Laotawa here? And it's a good tackle by Yongi. Just got him to Opiki. New Zealand A threatening again. Here's Levy. Kalani going. Keeney short ball to Howarth this time. Stand now. Howarth less than about 18 metres out. Here's the last play. In fact, there's one more play after this. Going to the line. It's a good carry from Kalani going to captain. Now it's the last play for New Zealand A. Go. Another try be just a ticket for this Kiwis A team. Docker Clay, that's good. Oh, he could have passed it to Leotel, I reckon, there. And Leotel might have been in to score number three there, Tony. It was just a little bit of an experience in it from the young fullback plant in that 5 8 jersey. Payne, go up to get. He just needed to pass that ball to Leotel. They weren't going to stop him there five metres out. Decides to put it on the foot. Well, I'll get the ball back here from the dropout. Oh, yeah, I like the shape, Glenn. I like the shape for a team that's only been together for a week. Docker Clay here, Dolpiki, and you've got Kenny hanging out the back. This is going to open up later on today. Yeah, got to give a shout out to Nathan Kalis, the New Zealand A coach. Really cool that he's coaching this team as well, of course. He was the captain of the Kiwis team that won the 2008 World Cup. He's been coaching at New South Wales Cup level, the Eels this season. Has experience to it, the Roosters and the Warriors, of course. They're really cool that he's coaching this New Zealand A team. He's got this team on point in these first 14 minutes, that is for sure. Now, Pasami Salo. Late little offload as a gem to Widamu Greg. Nine and ten, release now. Of the goal line. Five metres out. Excellent post contact metres made there. Now, here's Docker Clay. Short ball to Laban. That's a good tackle by Yongi. He's already made some good tackles for Tonga A. The ruck speed is excellent. Levy's going to have a crack at the line. And the bunk is going to have a look at this one. Well, I don't know if he got that Lucky. down there. He's, he's jumped four. up as if he has. I have no try. Is Levy. But I lose vision of the ball as it gets close to the goal line. I need you to check if it brushes the goal line there. There's the call Thank from you. referee Prix Laska Adamski. Oh, there's no sign of a grounding there, is there? At this point. Ball's always up at this point. Ball remains up. We lose sight of it here. We just need to check for other angles. Still is up at this point. Just need to see whether New Zealand lose the ball or it's stripped in the act of scoring from Tonga. Yeah, that's a good question, isn't it? Well, I think that uh, he lets go of that ball as Danny Levy. Tonga is just affecting a tackle. New Zealand lose grip of the ball, which is a loose carry. We have a decision. Yeah, good call there by the bunker. Danny Levy's had a point to prove too. He's uh, pretty experienced in our role play. 116 games, but he's found uh, Just wait, first grade appearances few and far between Just the last wait. couple of years, Tony, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, 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 he has, and of course in that position too that we're sort of struggling at the uh, at the national level. So this game do, do him a wonder of good, especially with uh, Fu Brown obviously playing today in the big one. Yeah, that's right. New Brown, what a uh, promotion for him. Of course, no Brandon Smith, no Phoenix Crosland either. Both out injured. Let's see if Tonga A can get a good set together, get to their kick. The Sione Hopoate. It's a good strong carry coming in. Looking, here we are, 12. Go to. Towards the halfway line. Good ruck speed here for Tonga A this time. This is better. The Sami, get up! Here we are. And the Tongan fans a bit more excited. Easily their best set so far. Here's a good carry coming in from Leka Halasima. Remember that name, folks. He's only 18. The Warriors have got him locked up. Here comes Pole to the line goes for Noor Pole. Well, this is easily the best set this time. Coming in from Tonga A. Let's see if New Zealand A. Lakau under this one. Vailia, brilliant catch from Viliami Vailia, and it's still there for Tonga A. Oh, it's been touched and it's been picked up. There by Jacob Labour for New Zealand but a good set. He's getting sunburned, wasn't he? Just looking up at that ball there, Leitao, as that ball went up in the air from Leongi. He just gets up, does Valia. He gets the ball back, but unfortunately, when he bowls it out the back there, the New Zealand A players are all around it. Here's Warbrick. Score of the first try. Keeney 
And that dummy half off he goes, the live wire 19 year old. Auckland born player, former Northcote Tigers junior. Over on the Gold Coast now. And here comes Greg again. Oh, that's a good strong hit on him that time by Fenua Fuyaki. And they've got the error that they've been looking for, Tonga A. Eh? Yeah, nice, nice play. It's a, a good one for any of our young players in New Zealand. And watch it when you're getting bum rushed like that and going backwards. You've just got to take the ground as opposed to put a position, a player in a, a worse position than you are. He offloads it there, wouldn't we great? And he just unfortunately is being pushed too far back towards his own try line. Yeah, some excellent tackling there. So Tonga A now got a chance to strike back. Just, just a couple of signs in the last couple of minutes that Tonga A is starting to get into the game now, Tony. Yeah, look, they're only completing at 50% here, Green. They just need to up their completion rates and get back into the game. They're in the right part of the football field. They've had no position whatsoever and no position to, to, to talk about. But here we have some good ball football for them. Let's see what they look like on attack. Stay in, break. Well, they've got options here. Let's see what they can cook up here. In comes Huerta from fullback. Good tackle by Rocco Berry. That was good, strong play from Berry. Dive out of dummy half again from Popawate. It's still alive and it hasn't gone forward. Nicely picked up by Kyoa. Still here for Tonga. Good, strong carry right towards the line. That is Halasima again. He's a good player. Yeah, he's only a couple of metres out. Let's see. What they can do here, this is the old No more. to the line. Tonga A now getting close, getting some shape for Vailia. Oh, ambitious pass there with Tony Francis. Not much room for him there for Francis. New Zealand A had drifted over on the left edge pretty effectively on that occasion. Here's Yongi. Back on the inside. Tonga A getting it straight again. Diopa. Last play now for Poli. Yongi with the kick. And it's play on here. Jacob Laban's got it. He's a bit of a one-man band out there, Jacob Laban. Yeah, they're getting caught here, aren't they? The halfbacks with Bonga in just on that kick. No one there. Got someone shooting in for a big shot on Warbrick. Oh, it was Hopoate. Warbrick shrugged him off. And now Howarth, excellent pace off the mark here from Jack Howarth. That's a great run. Release legs! And the ruck speed is really good too. Away goes Keeney. Yeah. Now. Oh, unfortunately now. tackled We're himself Kini. there Keanu Kini and now going pace of the game has really lifted in the last couple Plus of minutes as we Hold the line. have an excellent set here like New Zealand that. have gone the length of the field Docker Clay looks to ice it with the kick that might be overcooked it is just What's the ball? just a little bit too much weight on the back of that but a great kick uh, the Hold idea the was right there Wait. from Docker Clay. Fullback caught way out of Wait, position no, no, there. No, no, they're just a little bit loose the on their halfbacks with the way they play Wait, down in no. that good ball area of Ponga. They made a change <laughs> right before yeah. half to, uh, the game kicked off. Nate Dorpol come in at halfback and he just needs to get his hands on the ball a little bit more. Here we are, hold middle. 11 one step. Docker Clay's little grubber through actually I thought it was pretty decent. He just needed a chaser. There wasn't one though. 15 hold. Great markers go well. Yongi at dummy half now for Tonga A. <laughs> Got to get Paul into the game a bit more. Peter Haller as well. <laughs> now here is Paul Ed. Oh, Haller rather. That is Peter Haller. Zach, get up, Kay. 13 games in the NRL for the Raiders. He played one game this season and he's injured here. here. Yeah, that was a great shot. Right around the midriff there from Kalani going. It looks like he's hurt here too, but... Nice run from Pulleth right down the back of the ruck. And as he goes to try and find his front here, he gets hit right in the midriff there from going, puts him on the ground. He's come off here second best. Looks like he's clutching that left knee of his Widamu Greg getting a break there. Glenn and on for him, Joe Chan. And you know the Chans, of course, his father, Alex, played for Melbourne. Great to see the Chan still coming through the system. Joe Chan, son of Alex. And he's out there wearing 15. So fortunately, Peter Huller. Straightening with that leg injury. That was a good shot, though, from Kalani going. What a story this guy's had this season. Coming back to play for the Warriors post COVID. Wanting to stay in New Zealand, playing 12 months ago, he's playing for the Northland NPC rugby team. But of course, rugby league, he was a Raiders junior. Here he is, toiling away really hard, 
getting an NRL debut at the end of the season. Now he's captaining New Zealand A. And what a famous name. Daddy, release! John Chan lifting the leg there, but it's all good for Fuller. Here's a little kick on Yongi early in the count. It's a break kick! Oh! Well, there was a chance right there for Tonga A. 20 metre. Finau was the player running through there. He just couldn't catch it. If he did, he was in. Great sight here from Wong. Look at it. He takes it to the line. He's got the call from a support player. Hoita from fullback. No one at home. I don't know where Kinney was in that shot, but he just had to pull that in. I thought he could have got that. Release now. A really good vision, too, from Isaiah Yongi. There's a lost ball there, and Tonga A now have a full set. Well, they're starting to creep up in the areas here in New Zealand. I've taken another one and a little bit feisty down there too. Get us apart, lads. Let's go. go. Tong A were just happy. Really celebrating this little fumble in the play the ball there. There it is right there. Warbrook. Hey, try Number 12. It's a bit of nothing to snap, really, wasn't it? No. And we've got uh, Luca Halsima coming off the field with an HIA too. Easy runs with a lot of um, purpose, doesn't he, Halsima? When he gets the ball for a young kid. That's only 18, and he's only just turned 18 as well. Yeah, we saw him play a couple of times through the season, and the New South Wales Cup team did not look out of place for a 17-year-old. Let's go. Heads in, lads. Big pre-season coming six. up for him. Ball in. Go. For the Warriors, and who knows what 2024 might bring for the young man. Now here's Hoita. Wailia at dummy half. Minefuyaiki into the 20. He goes. Here we are. Danny Hold. Hold Danny. Go to. Here comes Fouquet, who's out there now wearing 14. Milking. He's at the Roosters. Good solid to tackling by Jacob Laban. Kasami release. Holds Kakalani. There is Hula, who is back into the action again. Yongi. Back on the inside comes Fino Fuaki again. Second carry of the set. Last play now for Kaloa Matangi Kalepo. Six more tackles here for Tonga. Hoita's got it. Six more. Hoita, a bit of showtime, unfortunately, just couldn't quite link up with Tony Francis. Oh, he's tried the, the nice little flick pass out the back there. Everything was in the mind was working, except the winger wasn't onto the play. As they come down here with that little kick, they're struggling to find that, that needle threading through that black line. And on this occasion, they get it back, and he just throw it out the back there, Hoita. The pass, he should have held onto it with that set of six. I think, Glenn, they're not getting that many options here. No, I wonder if he missed the call there, potentially. Then it was a six again, as you see, Will Warbrick. Tries to Warbrick and Howarth in the game so far. Hope you're enjoying it. We're halfway through the first half of this triple header here at Eden Park. Coming up later, we have the Kiwi Ferns playing Tonga in that women's international, followed by the big match at just after six between the Kiwis and Toa, Samoa. I hope you can stay with us right throughout the day here. Here on Sky Sport 4, here's Joe Chan. Stand 13 on the mark, New Zealand. Now the young player coming through the Melbourne Storm system. And he's picked up a little fumble there. So this is good play from Kong A. They're defending. They're really starting to get more aggressive with their tackling. Well, they're getting away with it too because the referee isn't tightening up the ruck. And they've got players around there playing with second, third efforts. And on this occasion, the hitters made, the contacts made, two players go on as he fights the player. They've still got hold of him, he puts it down and he's got a loose carry there. It could have easily gone the other way to a penalty. So he just needs to tidy up the rut and get a bit more of a flow going with a game here, the man in the middle. So a few more errors coming into the play for New Zealand, eh? Line up the touchy stack, Zach, line him up. Possession still in favour, though, of New Zealand, eh? Tom A having made almost 30 more tackles. Break! than their opponents so far in this game. Let's see Sumisi Kiwa get his team fired up here. Dormatami. Kalepo. Hit hard as Sione Hopoate. This is uh, one of the famous Hopoate clan. Son of John, brother of Will and Albert. Now Sione Faihu. Lomatangi Kalepo. Didn't mind that time, but 
Youngie's going to surrender there. Surrender. Having a solid game, Isaiah Youngie. Because he's in the Panthers Play system. Hold, hold, he's playing all the way through for their reserve grade team this season. At fullback as well, but he's showing some good skills in the halves in this game. He certainly has. Nothing late. Here's Yongi again. Right into the sun is Laatawa. He's got that one nicely, Ali Laatawa. Surrender. Yeah, that's better from uh, Laatawa. He gets up nice and early, gets that catch. A good carry here from Simonson going across the front of the face of the football field. They're starting to tie a little bit in the middle here. Uh, the Kiwi boys in another era. Wow, these. Ruck errors at the moment in New Zealand, eh? Big problem for them. Clock on, where do you want the scrum? A positive sign for New Zealand, eh, here, Tony? They haven't conceded any points. Well, that's right. You know, like, we're, we're heading up 26 minutes into the game here. It's still only 12 mil. Tonga pull one back here. They start to get a bit more belief. I just think that their number 19, Nate Dorpa, it needs to be in that first receiving role, which allows Uwangi just to get a little bit wider. Valia needs some early ball. He's the threat. All heads in, New Zealand. Wait, wait, half. Clock off. Yeah, it's Yongi calling the shots completely, isn't it? It'd be interesting to see if he got a touch wider, but here he is handing again. Isaiah Yongi. Kasani, release his arm. Hold the line. Five metres out, Kaloma Tangi Kalepo. Now here comes Muffy, Lopetti Muffy out there now, the 26-year-old. He's at Manly, been playing for them as we see Kaloma Tangi Kalepo go close. And it looks like the bunker is going to have a look at this one, but my instincts he was held up there. Tony, what do you reckon? Well, I don't think he's got that down because it looks like, who was it? Clear the obstruction lead up to. Sami Solo got underneath the football he's fallen on top of him here and he needed a different camera angle then this will give us a look at it here i think he's well underneath the ball there oh it's Kalani yeah, gone that's a, that's a good the stop there. up at that point just need to check all available angles well that ball is right there just a matter of oh no it's Thank the you. headgear there of Kalani <laughs> 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 well, he definitely got the head down. Well, I've just hit my head there, with the microphone, the Tony, just Based on all of our camera me. angles, we're supporting the on-field decision that the ball is held up. Ball's out the decision. back, lads. Thanks, mate. Tackle three. Should have stuck with my instincts. <laughs> Confirmed three there, Robbo. Well, they're in no hurry to get the ball Thanks, back mate. into play here. Tackle three. Oh, the Kiwis. Yeah. Number nine, you'll play the ball. Nine, you'll play the ball. Tackle three. Time on. Go oh, can they cook up here, Tonga? A. Eh? Can they turn this territory into points? As we see Vai, who driven back strongly by some New Zealand Release defense now. there. Hold the goal line. Hold. With the tackle there. Loma Tangi Kalepo. Poor pass that time from him. Fule has to go back and collect it, but he's made something from nothing there. Nice little kick through to the, the chase coming through there from Fianna Fanuki and he's back into the field to play brilliant play from Keeney. That was a determined salvage from him. Yeah, that was a great little play from the Kiwi fullback. Kinney got to it nice and early, put his body on the line, got down. Hell! Oh, tower. Tackle three. Play it there. Go three. Play the ball and here comes New Zealand. A good shot there. What a great tackle coming in that front from Celeste Fouquetti. But New Zealand still have the ball. Howarth, who's been impressive in the game. The 20-year-old back rower. We're here, hold shooters. Go, nothing late. Still five. Well, it's gone backwards. Can you believe that? Gee, they got out of jail there. That was a very messy end of the set. It was. They were lucky there. They didn't have another turnover. They're really he's struggling he's for a bit of cohesion he's here. He's uh, he's the, the Kiwi ball. teams, a few changes yeah, made, starting to get 30 he's minutes he's into the game, tired. Let's see if Tonga here can maybe just steal one before half time. Wailia with a very aggressive tackle there. Duo Picky comes out of that one pretty slowly as we see Francis. Head inside the 30. Here's a little dab from Dummy Half. And Alasima back out there, maybe past his HIA. Or is that Hopoate? Sione Hopoate. Kaloma Tangi Kalepo going for the line here. Did he get it down? Oh, he has. He's got it down. The try's coming for Tonga. Well, it was always coming. The air is mounting up for the Kiwi A team. 
They nearly double that of the Tongan side in the second part of the first half. And they've got out a dummy half here and chewed up the grounds from 12 metres out here, the dummy half. Polomatangi Kolepo, and he just uses his strength and his challenge to say, come on, boys, can you tackle me to get this down and get the Tongan A side back into this game? 12-6, 29 minutes gone. We've got a game on our hands now. Great try there from Tempo, Olympia, Kolomatangi Kalepo. And uh, even though there's only a few Tongan fans, they're all loving it. Well, those red flags, we've seen plenty of them around here in New Zealand, haven't we? Uh, interesting player, this lad. He's at the Knights now. New Zealand under 18s rep in 2018, a junior Kiwi in 2019. New South Wales Cup player for the Warriors, Jersey Fig player as well. And he's a former Manurewa junior. And then uh, he had a a serious hamstring injury back in 2022 basically ruled him out for the year only coming back from that now and he only got eight games under his belt in that new south wales cup team he missed 12 rounds this season with more injuries so it's been a tough couple of years for kaloa matangi kalepo but he's a very highly rated hooker still so now Tongahei finally capitalising on those errors. Can they ice that try by converting it? Excellent kick coming up there from Nafi Dia Upa. And it is 12 points to six to New Zealand A. Yeah, nice little play here from Tonga. They capitalised on back to back errors. It's starting to compound in defence here. The Kiwi boys just getting a little bit tired before half time. And Ponga found themselves in the right end of the football field, capitalising on it, picking up six points. I just think, Glenn, going into half time, they probably need to talk about how their spine's working here. Because it's just a little bit shaky of the Tongan spine. If they can sort that out, they've definitely got the players that can run, the players that can make breaks and cause trouble to this New Zealand A side. Good to see the Kiwi Ferns here too. With uh, their match coming up after this one. Let's see if Tonga A can back up after this game. Kicking off at a quarter for that game between New Zealand and Tonga. The crowd will build and then the main game between the Kiwis and Boa Samoa. The third and final game rather coming up a little bit later on as we see Tonga A come forward now through Fee now. Good little shift out to the left but that defence is pretty solid from Howarth and from Rocco Berry. Good tackle on the mark, right there mark. on Sioni Whaihu. Going to have to go back. Tackle four, you'll play the ball. Is that the Tigers at Just the moment? Sioni Whaihu. Go for it. Go for it. Right on, Junior, as we see Lopeti Mafi. Take the play now for Tonga A. Inside Kicks 40. from inside the 40, but. No chance of a 40-20s. We see Ali Latawa get those big thighs pumping, returning the football. Oh, that's brilliant tackling there from Tonga A. Yeah, he's going to get a message at half-time from Nathan Carter. Said he's just run a little bit too high, Latawa. He pick up a penalty and a piggyback the Kiwi A team. But there's no problems with the way that he runs. It's just that as a winger, you need to really get down early so you can get your forwards not coming, having to travel back so far. Just have a look at this run. It's too high. They get underneath him. They bums rush him back towards the trial, which means your forwards have to come further back behind you to carry that football. Well, that tower is a, uh, still a fine prospect. He's still only 20. He turned 21 until January. Forget how young some of these guys are. You've been calling for a couple of years in junior stuff, and you, you think they've become almost part of the furniture, and then you look at their actual cheapers. They're still only 20. It's like land of the Giants, isn't it? On the mark, Danny. Go. Two. Levy playing that one. Tuo Piki at dummy half. Two. Here comes Joe Chan. Untangle Tonga off the arm. Here we are. Hold. Play there. Hold. Go uh, New Zealand I haven't Go been down forward, inside Tonga three. Ace half in this position for some time. As we see Takuda. He's Take lost it. Move. Benjamin Takuda. Very First messy there from New Zealand A. Second one, Tonga. A lot of errors coming now. That's the eighth in the game. 
yeah, he won't be happy, Nathan Kalis. Just said the way that they finished the second quarter of the first half. They started really well. There was only one error in that first 20 minutes, but they haven't been able to get any continuity going with their carries. And on that occasion, just throwing that ball or trying to offload it when you have too many defenders around you and putting your, no one else in a better position than you are. You're just best just to hit the ground and get back up and play the football. 15 seconds, boys. So two tries to one it is. Warbrick and Howard for New Zealand A. Lord Matangi Kalepo. All heads in. For Tonga, eh? Clock off, let's go. Just wait half. We're all here, heads in the scrum. K, head in. Ball in. Stay in 11. 11. Break. Better 11. Come on, mate. Nagaliami Vailia. Here he goes, Vailia winding up. What a run from Vailia. Untangle, get up. Well, if he can produce that sort of form for the Cowboys next season, they're going to have some real strikeout wide. Valia, what Marcus a start Hall. off the scrum. Can they take advantage again? Hoita back on the inside. Pole, nice offload from him. Here comes Finau inside the 20. Exciting play again from Tonga. Get up. Here we are. Going, looking Hall. to slow that Six play. Slow. The ball down, and he's too slow Zero off the tackle. tackle player that time. Yongi back on the inside. The Finau Fiaki. That is a power try right there. Well, you can't keep turning the ball over against the Tongan side that you think we're playing in Tonga with the amount of support here and expect them to go packing. Instead, they get their backs up and they start to run three as if your defence there is just not non-existent. On this occasion, the first carry here from Bailea from a scrum, he's the major threat that you have out here on the right edge. They need the ball in his hands more often, but once they get into that good ball area, they just say, right, I'm going to challenge your defensive line. Levi with a very poor effort on the back of that tackle of, uh, with Jacob Laban is non-existent. This is a very good try. Uh, not much Kenny could do there with Fine Fuyaki with a full head of steam. 12 points to 10. Gee, what a dynamic now. What a good comeback from them in the second half. Now, this play, player plays interesting. The try score at 19 years of age, 12 NRL games for the Cowboys all the season. They boot him round 10 against the Roosters. And we can see why Todd Payton put him in the starting lineup oh, with play like that, right? I'll tell you what, and when you're only, what, you'd say five foot 10 as a, as a fullback, probably 85 kilos ringing wet, and you've got 120 kilos running down at you. That was a pretty good effort from young Keanu Kinney at the back, trying to stop that man from scoring his try. But, it's all Tonga at the moment. It has been for the last 15 minutes. And now should be able to get this kick here and we'll level it up. Fine Iaki is another Auckland-born player. He's been uh, in Queensland since 11 years old. Nati Piaupa is a... Converted the first try from wide out. So this one's much closer in. Real good heart and courage from this Tonga A team to come back into the game after they went down 12 nil. It looked one way traffic for New Zealand A at that point. But they've really settled in the game really well here at Eden Park. Yeah, it's been a quarter each, isn't it? Really, they started off very well, New Zealand A, going out to 12 nil lead, scoring a couple of quick tries, but it's been all Tonga on the back of these errors that keep putting this New Zealand A side under pressure, only completing at 58%. Bong in that first 20 minutes, we're at 33%. They're now at the 71% completion rate. And one of the big reasons now was sharing the position that they're back in the game. On the run. Well, let's see if New Zealand A can tidy their handling up. It's been pretty messy stuff from them in the last 15 to 20 minutes. And now a penalty for a high tackle. A lot of messages coming down to the bench at the moment. He's looking to make another change. Got another front row, Woodamu Greg back up. Looks like he's coming back onto the pitch. They need to make some concerted effort here, the Kiwi boys. They're on a bit of a roll, uh, Tonga, and they just go back into the half easily without having to work out of their own half, full of running. Let's not respond to anything. Yeah, those completion rates have completely flipped around, haven't they? Fight Leah again challenges the defence really well Marcus. with the first carry. Lock in. We're here, lads. Just play the ball. Wait. Go one. Finau at dummy half and back on the inside. Oh, missed tackles are climbing too against Come New Zealand A. 
Here we are. Hold. Go to. Here comes Pauli. Pauli. Good run from him. Hold with me. Left shoulder. Hold. Go three. Better this one. Well done. Three. He's a little dab from dummy half from Finau. Takes the line on himself. He's 10. He's 10. Go for it. speed's excellent for Tonga A. Here they come again. It's Hoita. Up from fullback. Gee, this would be incredible if Tonga A could take the lead here. And who knows with a good kick that might just happen. Still fine. Still fine. Communication not quite there for Tonga A. So they go to plan B. It's a pretty decent kick. There's another try. Well, they just a beautiful hit. Salesi Fokete, who's gone over to score it. And look at the two contrasts and celebrations here. The Thorn side with all of them over celebrating the try and the Kiwi boys all down in the background just wondering what do they have to do to stop this Tongan juggernaut from rolling through their team so easily. A nice kick through there from the replacement, number seven, Fino. And that is a fantastic try here. Look at the, look at the chase. There's two blokes that could have scored it. And it gets down by Fukete. And who would have thought, after the first 20 minutes, the Tonga will go into half-time leading New Zealand 8. Uh, tries being confirmed, and they deserve their lead. They really do. They have really, I don't know, flicked the switch somehow. Someone's got the message out there saying, come on, boys, start playing some footy. And they have certainly done that. So there's Fukete. The Roosters player, a New Zealand residence player from 2020 in the 16s age group, so he's a young man. And Fiketti goes through to score the try. He's been playing for the Roosters jersey flag team, which is their under-21 team this season. Yeah, showed plenty of passion too, didn't he, Glenn, to get to that football, wanting to be there first. And lots of happy people here in the grandstand waving their Tongan flags. Looking for this oh, kick to go over. Kick These, it's a big comeback from the Tongans just before half time. Well, they're doing what every good rugby league team should do when you get presented opportunities and that's execute, score points. The Aupa is. Kicks are getting easier for him. So for a six point lead. Back on. Approaching half time. Yeah, can't blame them for smiling. It's 18 points to 12. Well, we talked about position and po and position of the football field. And it's been all gone in the last 20 minutes, and they've just been putting too much pressure on a team, the New Zealand A side, that just cannot get a completion. To, look, to, to ask any questions of the Tonga defensive line. The They'll go on a half seconds. time here. We've got probably a minute to play out. One more set from Tonga. They'll probably just look to complete it, get a kick in. And 18-12 uh, at half time. They'll be pretty happy with that. You might have to hold it, Danny. You can hold it, the trainer can't. see what Tonga can do. And it's run off the back fence from Lepithi Muffy. Can I only leave the ball? Here we are, Danny Square. Hold middles, wait fellas, hold boys. Go one. Go on. uh, Huerta back on the inside. Good shift, uh, short little ball Come there. On, move. Here we are, Danny. Here's the try scorer for Kitty. Here comes Sione. Hopoate. Under the line he goes. Here's uh, runs. Returns of the football have been pretty solid so far in the game. Now, here comes Pauli once more. Leave the ball. Here we are. Looking for a penalty there, but it's not coming that time. Inside. Kick inside the 40, but again, not the angle up for a 40 20. Here now, Kini, the 19 year old fullback from the Titans. You just see the way he runs. He's an uh, he's exciting prospect, isn't he? He's only 19. But that will be that in the first half for. This match, the first of three here at Eden Park today. New Zealand A led 12 0 early, but Tonga A came flying back and deservedly take the lead at half time. It is 18 points to 12.
Hoki Mai. Welcome back to Eden Park in New Zealand A and Tonga A are at half time in their match. The first of three coming up today. Uh, the second game coming up, of course, is Tonga versus New Zealand, the Women's International, and the Kiwis playing Toa Toa Samoa. Here are the tries in the first half in this game. Tony Kemp, this was a good start in the first couple of minutes for Warbrick to finish that one off. Yeah, they had good shape, and out the back, Kinney finds Warbrick out on the wing. There, we've seen still plenty of those from Melbourne this year and put them out to a nice lead there, New Zealand A. And New Zealand A quickly got into their action, or into their work again. Loose ball there, and Jack Alwyn, the storm back rower, 20, year, 20 years of age, capitalised on that one beautifully to score New Zealand I'm pretty, pretty sure Nathan Carlos will be talking about that type of defence. That's going to be needed in the second half to get back into the game. Jack Howarth on that occasion, up and around the ball, sneaks one. Well, until that point, it was all New Zealand A, but this sparks Tonga A back. Kaloa Matangi Kalepo, the number nine, Powering over to score Tonga A's first try. Oh, that's what happened the last 20 minutes of that first half. It was all about the ruck, and he just got out too much space, too much space to run in, and just went over. That was probably too easy. Now, speaking of power, if that is just all brimstone and fire, isn't it? From Kula Kefu Fenefoyaki. Yeah, Fenefoyaki. He's basically just challenged the defensive line, Levi and Laban on that occasion. That'll be one that'll be highlighted at halftime. Put your body in front, make the tackle. And then Fiketi. Well, they, this was on the last. There was all sorts of communication problems, but that kick was a cracker, and Fiketi went through to score it. Well, it's about desire at this stage of the game in the first half, and Tonga has been showing way more than New Zealand A leading into that back end of the first half. The chase outstanding, the kick even better, and that took Ponga out to an 18 points to 12 lead going into the break. Dia Upa converted all three tries to give Tonga A the lead by six points. So lots for both teams to polish and execute and get right heading into the second half. And Nathan Kalis, he will not be a happy coach of this New Zealand A team. But don't forget, of course, at a quarter of four this afternoon, we have our second match coming up here at Eden Park today. It's between New Zealand and Tonga in the women's game. And let's hear now from the Kiwi Ferns captain, Georgia Hale. Well, Georgia, welcome home. First of all, how's the team recovered after that big match against the Jillaroos last week? Yeah, we definitely turn our loss into a learning. It's so nice to be home. We've had time to reconnect with our family. We're really excited to play on home soil today. Um, perfect preparations for when we come up against the Jillaroos again next week. What areas of improvement are you looking to achieve today? I think it's just all of our effort areas. We showed glimpses of it last weekend, um, but we just want to make it a full 70-minute performance today. So looking forward and tightening that up. Big shift for you last week, 42 tackles. What will your focus be for this one? Oh, I just the big girls um, run a muck out there in the middle, so I just aim to plug the holes and do um, do my job for them to cover it up. But um, yeah, I think we go through them first, through the middle, and then um, we've got enough flair and um, pace on the outsides to finish off a job. Speaking of flair, Tyler Nathan Wong gets the start today. What will she provide? Yeah, she's good. She's class. She's professional, and she's had an opportunity to link up with Ray in the season. So the pairing of them both is exciting, and I'm sure they'll um, yeah lead our team around the park really well today. Thanks, Georgia. Great to have you back. Thank you. Yeah, Georgia Hale, the co-captain, of course, with Racy McGregor. That game, really looking forward to that one coming up at the conclusion of this match between New Zealand A and Tonga A. Stay with us, though, here on Sky Sport. The second half is coming up right after this. Oh, Vali has had some good runs in the first half. Second half underway here at Eden Park. New Zealand A, Tonga A, it's the Tonga A team leading by sixes for Norpoli. Gets things started with a good strong return of the football. And now here comes Samesi Kiwa. 15 release. For a lot of that first half, Tonga A were completing in the 50%, but they've increased substantially in that last 20. And with that percentage right up to 76. Still could improve, be improved though, as we see Lopetti Mafi. He's been caught off the bench since coming into the contest. Tonga A keep it close to the ruck through their fullback Boete and captain of this Tonga A team. Bino at dummy half. There goes the spiral bomb. Isaiah Yongi, that's a pretty decent kick. Akini well taken. Of course, Yongi, being at the Panthers, has got the best. Uh, exponent of the spiral bomb in the club, yeah. isn't he, with uh, Nathan Cleary? Oh, I'll tell you what, he would have spent plenty of times with Nathan too. He's put some uh, put some snow on that one. He hit it that high, but he was up to it. Can he? This is the first set of the New Zealand A coming out of half time. Let's see if they can complete it. 
Not only that, too, get some ruck dominance, too. There's Bailey Simonson, barely the line of touch. Levy, Rocco Berry, who's been playing in the library in the first half. He's been so quiet, hardly seen the ball. Levy, and now here comes a good, robust carry from Joe Chan up towards the halfway line. This is better from New Zealand, eh? more like it. Duo Picky with the kick to end the set. And Hoyt almost uh, losing it forward there. Better set that time from New Zealand, eh? Well, he decided to, to uh, put it to foot there, the Dorpiki, on that uh, occasion early on, fourth tackle. I would have decided to run it personally myself and, and play the whole set to six out. 18 points to 12 was the score just after half time here at Eden Park. Middles, come to me. Ponga A with the lead. Oh, they wasted a tackle there. Derry all over that Bonganay player who was Fino. Now here's Nati Diaupa, whose goal kick has been perfect in the game so far. There goes Isaiah Yongi's kick. Going for maximum distance this time. Ali Latawa. And here is Kini. Got that beautiful outside swerve, hasn't he? Yeah, that, it's nice in it when they go around the outside. Just needed his winger in his centre to work back on that occasion there, just to give him an up, a little bit more of an option. Warbrick powers up the middle. That was a good carry by the winger as Jack Howarth takes over now for New Zealand A. Levy waits that dummy half. Uh, Zach Docker Clay still out there. Now here comes Joe Chan again. Levy off and running from dummy half. Offloads beautifully to 2 Picky. Just lost his footing there. Laotawa bursting through and Jacob Laban as well. Simonson. Well, it's gone off a Tongan A player. And that's real strength from Bailey Simonson. Tackle's complete. It's fine now. Ooh, I think right. he's... We're just going to untangle there. We're all good. Got a goal line dropout. It is a... OK, it's a line dropout. Gee, that was a Drop tight one. one. Yeah, look, just threw it through the line there. Good chase from New Zealand A side. They're just building nicely here, the momentum. A couple of sets, completion. Simonson threads it through. Gets a bit of a deflection here, and he just can't find his front oita. And they all come in here, the New Zealand A side, to make sure they get a repeat set. Before the clock. You've got to kick it before it's the clock. It's good work by Simonson. You're ready. Leah with that restart. Docker Clay. Takuda with that carry. Benjamin Takuda. Six foot seven. He's a giant. Here comes Levy. Nice little play from him. Try and create some space for Jack Howarth. Here goes Levy. Couple meters out. Levy driving towards the line now. Zealand A looking to make a statement early in the second half. Kini at dummy half. That's Kalani going. Back on the inside is Joe Chan. Let him up now. Four. 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 defense is holding on. Oh. As Berry might have a crack at them right here. Rocco Berry. Has he been held up? He's claimed the try and he's... Ah, referee, Przlaska Adamski's not going to award it just yet. I lose vision of the ball. Well, you can't stop defensively when you come up against Rocco Berry because he's got that really nice little shuffle to the outside and he'll take you on. And if you're not good enough, as we see on this occasion, get close enough to the try line. Do they get a hand underneath it? It looks held up there, but do they keep him up on the second if it is a question? He's held up on that angle. Just need to make sure we've got no other angles. Plenty of defenders around him, Glenn, on that occasion. Well, look at... Uh, if he gets that down, it's pretty impressive. Oh, did he get it down there initially? Based on a live decision of held up and the available angles, we'll be supporting the on-field decision. We have a decision. So not enough evidence to conclusively overturn okay. the decision. Confirm last tackle. La yeah. Last tackle, Rocco, your ball. Well, oh, Barry was convinced he'd scored the try. Tuo Kiki was lining the conversion up to us. <laughs> Rocco Berry here doesn't realise he's still got a tackle up his sleeve here. They just need to get organised here. Dr. Clay going in to that first receiver position. Plenty of shape out there on the left edge. So last play now for New Zealand A. It's Dr. Clay's kick. Still New Zealand ball. To Opiki. 
And Vailia will allow that to carry over the dead ball line. So back to the 20 they come for a seven tackle set. And here comes Vailia. These carries have been impressive today, haven't they? Very much so. And here comes Francis. Good body contact as well. Tonga A getting up towards the halfway line. 11 off the ball. Hold square. Hold middle. Zach. Go to Zach. Good now. Good now. He's adjusted. Low up. And now here comes Hoeta up from full back. Dr. Clay's got him wrapped up along with Kalani going. Good ruck speed from Tonga A. We're going to catch Kini out of position. In goal, in goal. And that's gone out of play. So it's going to be New Zealand A ball back at the 20. Yeah, had the right idea there. They get out of dummy half nice and quick, win the ground, quick play the ball. Just on that right foot. They're looking for a left foot kick there. Just maybe pulling it back onto the inside here. They get off easy there, New Zealand A. Middle, all the way. You're enjoying the coverage. Don't forget, right. we do have that Kiwi Ferns Tonga match coming up at 3:45 to be Move followed by the Kiwis Tour Samoa match. New Zealand's first match in the Pacific Championship for Samoa, losing to Australia last Second week. Seven, two. Ruck speeds good, Levy. Clean pair of heels to Kini. That's going to be a try for Keanu Kini, and a very good one, all set up by great awareness from Danny Levy. Yeah, there's a bit of argy bargy going on in the background too because as Levy goes through, just have a look at the fullback here, the Tongan fullback Hoyter gets right under the ribcage there on the second nice. effort for We've Kinney when he gets through on that nice pass it's here. The referee will go to that. But nice play. Wins the play, the ball gets out, Levy. He's got good pace. Gets around the back of the ruck there. Kinney coming up and every good fullback should be in the pitcher. Picks up a try, should be level. Just clear anything, uh, 15 New Zealand and 17. Referee just uh, looking, I think, initially there at the contact on Levy after he gave the ball to Keeney. And that's what that off uh, camera incident was about with a bit of uh, discussion. Let's just watch Levy here. Captain from Tonga. Um, tries confirmed. It's that contact right there. Well, it was late, and he probably could have pulled out of it. Yep. Good hoit, that. And he committed to that. The referee, they'll review it. But nice play there from the number nine, the number one, getting out of dummy half on a quick play, the ball. You got another player here down for Tonga. Looks like it's the end of him for the day. Yep. Oh, we'll see. Looks like... Uh, Going to be Peter Hola is going to come back on. So Joe Vuna, who's got his boarding pass into the game. Former Warriors player who's now at the Titans. In the meantime, to Opiki. To lock the scores up, which he's done so. So 18 all. That player we saw hobbling off for Tonga was Salesi Fokiti. Here's this play again. Beautiful play from Levy and Keeney. That's what you want to see your fullback doing. Yeah, built on a bit of pressure there in completions. The New Zealand eight, they got to the go back away. of their sets of six. They're putting the pressure on. They get a repeat set. They go back out. They get a, a held up from Rocco Berry on the very next set, just working towards that, that quick play of the ball. And Danny Levi strikes with Kinney down the middle of the park. Nice play from New Zealand eight to get themselves back in it. Time on, when you're ready, let's go. So 18-all, first try of the second half, scored by New Zealand A. Paul Roach out there now wearing 14 for New Zealand. Another player who's been playing in the New South Wales Cup team, got his NRL debut right at the end of the season. Here's Ali Latawa. Roach. And it's a good run. He beat back awkwardly there. Wait. And there's a penalty, more niggle between these two teams. It's the third time that both teams have come in. Is that number three? There's a bit of passion out there at the moment. And of course, each team trying to dominate their presence in and around the middle of the ruck, Glenn. 
They lacked that in the Boys, second quarter of that first half. New Zealand got bent back there. I don't think he was very happy with that type of tackle. The shape up here. He's a big lad, Joe Chan, isn't he? He needs to grab a hold of this, the referee, make sure we don't see anything else happening around that. Just clean that ruck up. Let the game flow. Next line, K, K. Next line. Fuck, I don't like the actions for number three. Konga. Oh, Hylia is under the microscope now. Yep. Yep. You're going to jump in, Johnny, you're going to defend the whole hallway. Yeah. Boys, captains, skippers. Okay. Yeah. Call the skipper over, Vigo. Do this way. Boys, okay. Initial penalty was for the high shot here, contact, all right? So that's against your players. Line in the sands now. Any more, blokes will sit down. It's that simple. Play rugby league, boys. Nice. Yep, absolutely beautifully handled there by Ziggy. Ritlaska Adamski, the referee. Your penalty. New Zealand hit the reset button at halftime pretty well, haven't they, Tony? Well, they have. They've just got plenty more about chance, them when they're carrying no, the football off. and just winning the ruck again and getting off that ground early enough. I like it with the Rogers playing now. Look for him to get out of there, mate. These little half breaks. Here he goes. Well, Takuda, that was a great run. Now New Zealand A on the front foot here through going and through Opiki. Tonga drifted nicely in defence, though, on that right edge for them that time as Roach has another crack. Here's going. Going inside the 10. Here we are. Hold the line. Go through so goal line defence going to be critical here for Tonga A. Here comes Keeney. A little bit clunky that play. That was the play the Warriors executed so well right through the season. Here's we shift Paul Roach giving it out to Docker Clay. Here's Roach with space. Paul Roach. Roach is over for the score. New Zealand A hit the front again. He was always threatening, wasn't he? He's got plenty of play skin out of dummy half on this occasion. It's the off right from Docker Clay. It ends back in Young Roach's hands here. And they're just dominating the field position here. Docker Clay with a show and go. He gets held up in a two-man tackle. But it's that man Roach who just takes off from a standing start. Got too much pace for the cover defence here. And they hit the lead here. New Zealand A looking really good. Well, great try by Paul Roach. He's only just come on. That might have only been his third or fourth touch. He did brilliantly there, Paul Roach. 24 years of age, got that NRL debut he'd been so craving for in that last round against the Dolphins. 15 games in the New South Wales Cup team this year, so Duo Picky again. Another pretty handy conversion attempt coming him to give New Zealand a six-point lead again. Exactly what happened. So, two converted tries in the second half. Duo Picky keeps his 100% kicking record. That's four from four for him, 24 to 18. Yeah, it's uh, all the New Zealand A here coming out of half time, the better side. They've got the win behind them. Their completions have been very, very good. They've got back up to 70% completions, which is pretty average in the first half. And of course, that field position, it's all in good ball. And when you've got players like Docker Clay, when you've got young Paul Roach with speed out of dummy half, these big Tongan boys, they're starting to feel the pinch. Oh, now pressure right back on the team in red, that's for sure. And players like Joe Chan and Benjamin Takuda are starting to make some real impact now with their runs and carries. Here's Howarth. Howarth almost burst right through. That's a great run from Jack Howarth. Roach, New Zealand A right on the front foot again as Warbrick. New Zealand just want to pound them up the middle at the moment. And they're doing a great job of executing that tactic. Look at the space for Docker Clay here. Nice answer to Opiki. Now Bailey Simonson at the defence. 
Latawa busts through tackles. Ali Latawa. They just lost it there. And unfortunately, that very promising attack comes to nothing. Oh, that was a big error from Latawa there. They just rolled down the pitch here, getting out a dummy half. He could have taken the line on there, Paul Roach. He decides to throw it out wide. And this is a nice little play from Simonson. And Latawa with too much strength there, going, taking on the fullback. He just has to hold the football here. As the 11 comes across there, Finif Wake and takes that football off him, gives him a breather. The Tongans, they're struggling here. And there's Ali Latawa again. Gee, there's some heat on for that Warriors centre position next year, isn't there? Oh, isn't With it? Ali and Rocco and Roger Tuivasa-Shek coming back. Adam Pompey still around. How good was he on that Canberra game? Up against the you know, Cocker's 300th game, goes out there, first NRL game, makes the defensive decisions of a young bloke at that level look so easy. He's got a big future. Break! He's on the wing today. Moves Maybe not his natural Moves position. No, not, and you can tell. He's also got a lot of experience at fullback in his junior days as well. Right offload is a good one there for Tonga, eh? 12, move! Jacob Lagan making that tackle on Boyata. And away goes Sione Hopoate. Stand there! Hold middles. Is that hold? Let's see what Tonga A can do with this set towards the end is Pule. And there's a little error. We haven't seen too many of those from Tonga A in the last little while now, but unfortunately that's good pressure by New Zealand A defensively. It's a, it's a mirror in it of the first uh, the first half from New Zealand. It's like reverse uh, vision here of Tonga making the same ex exact errors that New Zealand were making when they're coming out of their own half. That wind is playing a big part. Glenn, the, the, the field position, they just can't seem to get out of their half here, Tong, and they keep handing the ball over here. They're just getting a roll on these big Kiwi boys. He's a hell of a can play, can't he? This young boy from Queensland, he's having a massive game. A yeah, really good game. Well, we're coming up to the 20-minute mark of the second half. Does that mean, Tony, we're going to get 20 minutes from great, of great rugby league coming up from Tonga A to end the game? Well, we saw good, a good 20 minutes from New Zealand in the first half. Let's hope we get, we get a game out of it. Here's Kenny. Well, I think the Titans have got a good player there. Oh, yes. Keanu Kini, he looks really, really good. Here's Docker Clay. Looking a little bit sluggish as Roach finds himself with the ball. And not by choice either. Marcus Square, as we see going, going to dummy half. Here's Kenny again. Here's Rocco Berry now. Well, New Zealand A will hopefully get some shape back now. Berry, good post-contact meters made by Rocco Berry. Here's Roach again. Good way pass to Docker Clay. And it's Salo, so impressive in his first stint in the game, wasn't he? For Sami Salo. Roach again. Greg used as a decoy that time. Here's Docker Clay. Bury the short ball. Good tackle. Coming in from Diopa. Saves a try right there as Keeney goes into dummy half for New Zealand, eh? There's the kick. And it's handled. No, it's not. It's dropped right there by Tonga, that Tongan A scrum. player, Joe Funa. Middle scrum clock on. Well, they're looking for something here, Tonga. They're looking for a call from the referee or an error, and they just can't seem to find it. But Dr. Clay on the last tries to thread it through. Can't pick the volley up. The Tongan player, as he goes down, he gets to it. But unfortunately, Vuna can't pull that one in. They're under the pump here. Who do they go to? They go to Rocco Berry out here on the right or Simerson on the left. Yeah, it's a good question, isn't it? New Zealand former. Coming, guys. Pop off. Head in. Head in, Deloise. Ball in. Stay in, break. Roach. Here's Toro Nice hands from Kenny. That's beautiful. Leia Power is in. That's execution to a T right there from New Zealand, A. Eh? Yeah, nice hands soon. Soft touch from Simonson on the sweep around. They've lined up directly behind the scrum here. Toro Piki and Kenny and Kenny has to put that hand to that football nice with those soft hands and pays for it with that little pass to Latoa, but they go in New Zealand A. It's been all New Zealand A in this first 20 minutes of the second half. He's deserved that, Latoa. He's made a couple of errors in this game, but finished off that one really well, did the young outside back. So that's three tries to New Zealand A in the second half now. They were trailing, remember, 18-12. After Tonga, he stormed back in the 
Last 20 minutes of the first. I love that from Kenny. That's pretty. Yeah, nice and soft, wasn't it? He had the vision, he had the time, and there wasn't a hell of a lot of that. But to let that man, Laotoa, go through unheeded to the try line and put them out to 28 points to 18 lead. It's been all New Zealand, eh? Their field position has been absolutely outstanding here. And he'd be wondering what they do here, the coach of Tonga, because they just can't get out of their own half. Five tries now for New Zealand eight to Opiki four from four. Converted one from the sideline in the first half. Wasn't the regular goal kicker in that New South Wales Cup team either. He only kicked two through the season to Duo Picky. And now that one as well. Five from five. He's having a day to remember. He's Duo Picky with the boot. He's putting them over from all over the football field as we see our ferns just down the back there warming up on the other side of the pitch. Looking forward to that game too, Glenn. She's a massive day here at Eden Park. Yeah, Racing McGregor and the Kiwi ferns. She is Racing McGregor. What a fine player she is. Docker Clay, here's Widow McGreg, who put an excellent first shift in this game. Nice, Widow McGreg. Stand out from the square. Roach continues at dummy half. Oh, well break, that's a best shot I've seen for a long time. What a ripper. From Koloa Matangi Kalepo. He's come right from the back fence with that one. That was copybook. 10 out of 10. He's going. Get up now. Here we are. Paul, go for second marker 30. Four. Now the Kiwis. Warbrick. He wasn't touched. He wasn't hurt at all in that. Uh, Shot. Markers, shooters. We're going to As we see uh, Howarth rather playing the ball here for Rocco Berry. There's Docker Clay. We're a move, give 10. And now here comes Deloise. Boy, throws it hard by Warbrick, who's getting in there. Cops and treatment now, he gives the treatment. Well, he did, and he should be pretty happy with that defensive set too from the back there. Kolomatangi Kalupu trying to lead. This Tongan side out of this field position from their own half with some great defence. Let's see what they've got here. Here's Tony Francis. Move now, six. Hold. And here comes Peter Huller over the halfway line. Good run by the front rower. That's excellent. It's 10 to 12, 15 metres post contact right there. Now here comes the other front row. That's Vuna. Back on the inside comes Vaihu, who's back out there now. Now Tonga A starting to fire up again. He goes to kick from the Alpa and Warbrick driven back into the in goal, but he's actually just out in the field of play. That's a good set from Tonga A. There he's caught the high shot right there. Lazy tackle there. Yeah, loose, loose tackle, piggyback out. It's just what Tonga didn't need. They've worked so hard to get out of their own half there to have a shot. Here's this big tackle again. This is going to look oh, special on the replay. What a ripper. He's, and he, as I was watching it from up here, he's come way back. Has a clip with that tackle. And on that occasion there, that loose tackle, you'd be, you'd be really sort of pulling what he had left out at the moment with his Tongan side. They get down there and then they just give a penalty away on the first tackle. On the 30 lads, Tonga, we're here. Behind the That's a pretty Take decent view for up there, isn't it? Wouldn't want to come down from there today. Here's Warbrick. 15, no more. 16 to play. 12-point margin for New Zealand A. Now Widamu Greg. Move now. Well, the starting props in New Zealand A have been good in this game. Greg and Pasami Salo. They've been very, very solid. And here's Salo taking the next carry right here. 
Tongaston. Here we are. Oh. NRL experience starting to show through perhaps in this New Zealand A. Remember, 15 of the 17 playing have NRL experience. Just six from the 17 and the Tongan A team, but that was sloppy from Zach Docker Clay. Yep, the old middle. curse. <laughs> there you go. You that, as as you get, try to give them a, a plug, Ready? how often does that happen, Glenn? And all of a sudden, Ready? they come up with an error. This is exactly what Tongan's been waiting for. They get one back here as Dr. Clay pushes off one defender looking for a, a shift to the outside. They're going down Rocco Berry's side quite a lot today. That's working, guys. Dr. Clay be disappointed there. Let's get six forwards, guys. Let's get six players in. He's just doing a shoelace down there. We're going. Let's get six forwards. We just reminding you, too, we have game two coming up. And 45 in. minutes between New Zealand and Tonga. You can see both teams warming up on the okay, far side off, of the wait field. Half, wait half. Okay. Heads in, the advertising hoardings yeah. over there. Great. Good work. Well, normally, they might want to warm up on the number two ground here at Eden Park, but there's a bucket shield cricket match going on at the moment as we see a fantastic run there from Peter Ola. Now they're on the front foot through for Noah Pole. Move! Here we are. Polly right on the 20. Lomatangi Kalepo. Nice little short ball to Vaihu. Well read by by Rocco Berry. Lomatangi Kalepo. Back to Vuna. This is Yongi. Now Yota. Good play for Vanille. Up for Francis. Francis, he's got it down. That's a terrific try for Tongai. Tony Francis take a bow. There's still plenty of work to be done on that. Carry as they've shifted it to the right-hand side. They're a different side, Tonga. When they get their hands on the ball inside this good ball area, down near close to the New Zealand A try line, a beautiful shift out wide, soft hands again there by Hoyta. And Vailea just shovels it on, but he had plenty to work there. Tony Francis taking three players from New Zealand A over with him. Yeah, he had a lot of work to do there to Francis. Burley Bears player from earlier on in the year, and he bangs it down. Dented the grass as well. Fantastic score there for Francis. 21 tries in his 22 games for the Burley Bears this season. That's not a bad strike rate for Francis. Yeah, Burley Bears a good club too. Old Sammy Stewart, that's his, his old club up there on the Gold Coast. Of course, Curtis Rowe, who played at the West Tigers as well. And many more Kiwis that are up there on the old beautiful Gold Coast. Uh, and this man, Tony Francis, watching him today bump off a couple as he goes in for a try. He can score a try. I'm not going to say that. That took a heap of effort from Tonga, who were down 30 points to 18 and brought themselves right back into the game. And of course, Tane Tuopiki is a former Burley Bears player as well. And Tonga A needed that to have any chance of winning this game, Tony. They needed to score right there, and they did. Well, they're a different team, Glenn, when they get down in, inside the New Zealand half. You know, this, this way of handing the ball over, playing that first 20 minutes stuck in their own own try line again rem rem reminiscent of the first half they tend to get good ball down here late in the second half and all of a sudden they can score points they've got plenty of points in them they just got to be in the right part of the football field well, both goal kickers have been excellent in this game to picky hasn't missed and neither of this lad here the nati to across the face so it's going to remain an eight point game with 12 minutes to play beautiful hands here passing was crisp right in front of each player nice play from by Lea and francis powers over this a pretty sight for tonga a supporters right there well another quick try and it's all on in the last 10 minutes, Tony. Well, that's the type of game that we want, don't we? We want it to go right down to the wire. He's got to reset this as young Kenny. But yeah, they get, they get their backs up and we've got to be careful here in New Zealand, eight at the support, which is starting to really pile in here because we've got the ladies up next to Thorn ladies as well. <laughs> They'll get their backs up. If they go over again, they'll be hard to stop. Oh, well, that is not what Tonga A needed. And what a bonus there for New Zealand, A. Eh? Little awkward bounce. But there's a reminder for your young league players, try and take kickoffs on the full. Oh, you're so right. How often do we see this when you go down, get yourself back into the game, and the very next restart, you come up with an error as Vailea tries a short one. Plenty of height on it, but just too much distance. So Keeney. Stand now, 13, get up! 
Keeney looks fantastic. What a prospect he is. Just 19 years of age. Here comes Basami Salo. Inside the 20. That's nice play from Docker Clay. Here's Berry looking to create a two-on-one for Will Warbrick. And Will Warbrick smashed over. Well, Tonga A not moving up on defence and on that left edge that time. And New Zealand A make them play. Well, you're talking about young Keanu, uh, Kenny there, who had to go the previous play before this one and, and touch the ball again and set this right side a lot. He pops out the back here. Just have a look, Docker Clay out to Kenny with a nice little pass to Rocco Berry. Misses the first tackler and then goes around and that's his best play, that shuffle to the right-hand side, that carry that a la Kurt Goodley and Matthew Gidley pass and finds his wing here. But he's got a lot to do here. Walbrick has to go through three tackles, just like Tony Francis, and gets the ball down. The Melbourne winger, he's having a, a gem of a day out there on that right edge. Yeah, two tries now for Will Walbrick. Try all good for New Zealand A, and that lead back to 12 again. And Rocco Berry did everything right there, didn't he? Just created that. Indecision in the defensive line. Well, he's got plenty of work here too, Rocco. He's, he's got great feet and he's got a decent left-hand fend on him and that's going to develop over the years as he as he gets more NRL experience. 30 games so far this year. I think it's 34, somewhere around there. And uh, a player that we, sh we should be happy to have over here on our books at New Zealand. Absolutely. Well, this is an important kick here for Tane Duopiki. Ten minutes to play. If he can bang this one over, not only will he keep his 100% kicking record today, but it will get New Zealand A clear by two scores. He's kicking like a machine at the moment. His name to Opiki is a little leaf out of Sean Johnson's paper right there, silencing the Tongan fans just behind him. Yes, I, wonder what he was, I wonder what he was paying at the TAB for 12 plus points. He's kicked six goals, six from six, three of them right from both sidelines as well. As young Thor Picky, he's having a, he's having a good, good day with his boot. But Ponga here, they need to get something from this kickoff, a turnover. And an opportunity here to just make a game of it in these last nine minutes. Get behind them. Indeed. Well, two converted tries is still not going to get them above New Zealand A now. So it's a tough task, big time for Tonga A now. It's Warbrick again, hit by his nemesis there, Koloa Matangi Kalipo again. Here's 10 metres. Let's hold Tonga. That was a tackle. And a half in the game, wasn't it? Now, Widamu Greg. Good solid play from New Zealand. They will get them over the line here. Let's get to their sets. Nothing too extravagant or flash. Although they might want to play some football, who knows? Here's Roach. Away from dummy half goes Paul Roach. Blow picky. Here's Docker Clay. Oh, it's gone back. Tough one there for Tonga A. Stand now. Yeah, you've got that son and Palmaki here speed. now just hold drifting hold around one. to that west side, haven't you? One. Which is going to be interesting as the as the next game comes into play. Coming, up, what's that? Uh, south to oh. the north. We're going south to north, the Tongans. So will get plenty of light in their eyes. Will the girls coming up in the next one? Yeah, interesting way to be. As we see, Isaiah Yongi take that carries move back to fullback now. Now here comes Francis, who scored that really solid try. Where are we moving? Here we are, Zach all the way. Zach, hold, go four. Boita, back on the inside pass. Good solid tackle from Sami Salo. He's had an excellent game in the number eight jersey for New Zealand. Here comes Kenny with front foot running ball here. Ten, get up! Here we are, hold. Yeah, he's had a big game, hasn't he, old Kalani? Uh, going he's just been replaced here on that uh, that kick pressure Move, on the mark, big Will. big numbers big numbers Go nice going has uh, made 23 tackles that's the that's one behind Salo Leave the ball. and he Levy back out there now so Roach continues in the dummy half roll Go picky 
Picks it up. Almost was Bailey Simonson. A little messy there. So here's a chance now for Tonga. Hey, and look out. Here comes Viliami Vailia. Vailia. Oh, that's power play right there. Oh, hard luck there for Vailia. Rocco Shoelace grazed the touch line. That's Rocco Berry coming all the way back from this right edge to get Vailia in that left-hand corner. Look at the chase back here. So it goes to the ground here. He can't pick it up, Laotaua. They get up. They offload it here to Vailia, and he's off. He's got 60. He's got defenders coming across to get him. He gets the first one, goes on the inside. Can't get the outside of this next defender, but who? look who it is. Rocco Berry from the other side of the pitch. Well, those Warriors players from this year, you would have enjoyed that, Rocco Berry. That's an effort. That's what you look at at NRL level. That's the experience of Rocco Berry right there. Stand now. Sliding play from Vailia. He was enjoying himself in the clear, wasn't he? As Howard plays the ball on the 20. There's Warbrick again, asking plenty from the defenders. Roach, good hands from him. That's Danny Levy. Close to the ruck. Release! Ruck speed is so fast. Here comes Keeney. Keeney! Oh, he mistimed the pass to Jack Howard. Big time there. Well, I just think that they weren't up to what young Kenny was doing there. The play the ball basically caught that right edge out. He's jumped out of dummy half here. Phil Kinney, he's, he's done exactly what you want him to do and just missed, the, missed his target there on the pass. Probably a show and go would have been a better option for him. Are we going to enjoy him playing for the Gold Coast Titans? Hopefully many more times next season. Keanu Kenny, the fullback. Six games this year, two starts at fullback. Didn't they do until round 10 this year? And see why the Titans are. They've put them in their first grade team now. Good hands from Tonga A. They've still got it. And it was really good hands from Nati Yaupa. We know a dummy half. Here's a good strong run to the line by Peter Hula. He's had a good game, Peter Hula. Yongi up in the line again. Good hands from Warbrick, although it's been knocked on as we saw Sebesi Kiwa chasing through for Tonga A. Yeah, it was, a, it was an option, one to put that kick through. It was, it was only as good as his kick chase, and he had plenty of chase coming. Warbrick, unfortunately, on that occasion, he goes down to pick up the half volley and just can't get the hold of He's had a good game. I'm really, I'm really chuffed with the way that William Warbrick's played this year, getting some recognition. I thought he was unlucky to miss the New Zealand uh, full squad when they named the side. I had him down as one of me, one of my better wingers of the season. Um, but to come out here, get a couple of tries, watch the way that he's played and committed himself to this New Zealand jersey, you've got to be happy with that effort. Well, it's got to be a try here for Tonga if they're going to have any chance. Let's see what they can do. It's been a fiaoki. We've got that brilliant try in the first half. Ramatangi Kalepo. There's Pole. Release now, Ramatangi Untangle. Ramatangi Kalepo. Good pass. And here comes the score for Sione Hopoate. A try with three minutes to play. The clock's really against Tonga A. But they finally get their try. Close the gap. Yeah, it was a nice try too. What he's been outstanding since he's come back on. Call him a thingy. Lepo out a dummy half there with a bullet tight pass out this left edge. Goes th across three of the New Zealand A players. It caught them all out. The winger out there, Sione uh, Hopoate, just waiting for that ball to be delivered and gets it on a plate. And they get another try. It's a high scoring game. New Zealand A 36 and Tonga with 26 points. Probably a two point um, option here as well. It's been a fantastic uh, afternoon of football play. Yeah, and hopefully that will continue with the next game coming up very soon between Mate Ma'atonga and the Kiwi Ferns. Looking off in half an hour here at Eden Park. The Aupa with the conversion attempt. And they led by six at half time. It's a hard luck miss there for the Upa, and it's going to be a 10-point game with about 90 seconds to play. I'll throw a caution of the win here with Tonga, mate. Uh, Tonga, when they get this football and try any, anything to try and get back up there over the New Zealand A try line, but it's been a very good effort in the second half by Nathan Kalis's men. They've come out, they've really muscled up in the middle of the park, 
which they lacked in that second quarter of the first half and dominated to play the ball in the ruck area, allowing their players to get out. This kid kicking the ball, Kenny's had an absolutely outstanding second half of football. He's been superb, all right, and, uh, well, he's kicked out of the full. Until that point right there, Kempe. <laughs> it's normally what happens. You give the guy a bit of a bit of a plug, and he decides to give you an error in response. Kick or tap? Kick on the line. Halfway between the line, 25, here we are, 11, Jack. Wait for the tap, Nibes. Here here comes Kua with that first carry. Holly Tonga's last set. Kua Matangi, they're going to work up something on the right here. The cutout pass to Vailia to run at the defence again. It's been a handful all afternoon. It can be an absolute wrecking ball, no doubt about it. Hoita back on the inside for Peter Hola. He's been as good as any. Player in the New Zealand 18 today is Peter Hula. Nice little play from Finau, but he's handled by his opposite number, Zach Docker Clay. This is probably the last play of the game. Kaloma Tangi Kalepo. It's Yongi. Just couldn't quite link up there with Hopoate. And that is going to be that here at Eden Park in game number one of three here today in this. Festival of Rugby League, and it is New Zealand A. He trailed by six at half time, and they've ended up coming from a, that deficit to win by 10 points. Final score here New Zealand A 36, Tonga A 26. So, two tries in the first half to New Zealand A for Warbrook and Howarth, tries in the second for Keeney, Roach, Ladtower. And Warbrick got his second try. All of them converted by Tane Tuo Piki. Tries to Tonga A. Kaloma Tangi Kalepo. Bine Fuyaukati. What a great try that was for Keti in the first half. Two tries in the second half, both unconverted for Francis and Hopuwate.